And personally for me, um, I think gender is a very complicated and interestingly constructed construct. It's not something that I think is um, real inside of a vacuum. I think there are parts to it that are tangible, parts to it that are real. In the same way that I think things like race, there are parts to it that are real and tangible, parts to it that also represent things that are important to us. For example, um, like my hair texture and the way that I have to then do upkeep and taking care of my hair, that is something that is important to me on, on a sort of internal relationship level. It's part of my self-expression, um, but it also is then part of my race. People will identify me differently based off of how my hair looks. Um, when it, I used to cut it short or get it cut short, um, people would identify me as almost everything adjacent to African-American. Mm -hmm. I would be recognized as Mexican, as Middle Eastern, but not Black, not African-American. And it took until I grew out my Afro um, again for people to consistently recognize me all the time, every time mm -hmm. as African-American, as Black. Um, so in the same way, to me, gender is many things, but it's also a political statement as it's part of that game. Um, and while I identify as a trans woman in certain spaces, I ultimately believe that my selfhood, my, who I am as a person transcends gender. Um, and so ultimately I identify as non-binary outside of the gender spectrum, but I do think in terms of the ways I navigate certain social situations, um, it does end up being more effective for me to get people to understand that like what they define as womanhood, that the things that they associate with womanhood are things that I embrace and things that I identify with more so than the identity I was assigned at birth.